All right, we have $50 from Airwalk251. He says, I love GDQ. Good luck, everyone. And with that being said, I have been super excited about this all day. We have Battletoads 100% with the blindfolded Turbo Tunnel by TMR. Good luck and have fun, friend. All right, hello, everybody. Today is a very special day. I see a lot of hype people in chat. I'm totally bluffing because I cannot see chat. <laughs> But I know the hype is there. I can hear it by this guy's voice. So today I'm gonna be playing this game that is amazing. I'm gonna be having commentary provided by my best friend and rival at the same time in this game, mm -hmm. uh, which is JC583. Hey, TMR, thank you for having me. Well, thank you so much for coming. So having said that, I guess uh, we can start in the game and we will have some time to talk about it. Uh, a game made by Rare, a great uh, company back in the 90s. Uh, so, Baldos, <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna give a countdown uh, once uh, to start the timer. Uh, once the toe touches the ground, that's when the official timer is gonna start. We're gonna be using SE timing. So, five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, and welcome everybody to Battletoad. Stage one is uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, the game does not let you progress until you dis until you dispatch of the enemies. He uh, knows the fastest way to do so. He can actually do a trick right here where he's slightly away from the enemy, but he can press a vertical direction on the D-pad in order to hit enemies from behind him. And so that allows him to uh, use the headbutt on him as the finishing move and get further to the right a lot faster. It's a neat little trick that uh, was discovered by Tionic not too long ago. No. Whoa. <laughs> I, I need Sorry. lives. I need life, Rush. All right. Yep, that need lives. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So the One strategy right there is... that life right back. Yeah. Okay. So it... I should explain uh, what we're going to do here. Uh, we're actually going to farm for lives in stage two. So we'll be spending about a minute or so. Um, a little extra in stage two. Uh, juggling the birds for one-ups. It works kind of like Mario. You hit them enough times. Uh... Uh, juggle them enough times, I guess. Well, with Mario, it's it's stomping on their head, but in this game, it's uh, hitting them with a sword or with a jab. And uh, once you hit them enough times, you get a one-up for it. Ten thousand and one-up. So we're going to be getting as many many of those as we can for stage three, because in stage three we have met a donation incentive to play the Turbo Tunnel blindfolded. Yeah, thank thank you all for your generosity. It's going to be. Very scary for me. Hopefully amazing for you to watch. <laughs> yeah, so I definitely need all these lives. Uh, usually, well, this is not uh, a speedrun way of doing this stage, but uh, definitely to ensure the, the hopefully success of the Turbo Tunnel, blindfold, I have to, I have to do this. There's no other way. I know yeah. hardcore gaming is the only way usually, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so a disclaimer, yeah, I, there's... I, I guess oh, we sorry, have some ahead. time for donations because the farming is going to be strong. As JC said, like one minute. All right, sounds good. I wanted to say hey to JC as well. It's lovely to see you here. Yo, I, was, I wanted to find the right time to say it. But yeah, it's great to see you too, Sky. You're great. And I have a ton of love here for TMR. First of all, we have $150 from Burlaw's voice says, TMR, TMR, easy left, jump ahead. I love it. It's very cute. Very hype before Turbo Tunnel here. Uh, Colt MX donates $7.77 saying, always glad to see my boy TMR tackling down the Dark Queen. Vamos, TMR. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have $10 from a boat. It says, let's hop to it and hope that no one croaks in this run. I'm sorry. I have to subject even my friends to puns, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, $50 from Muffin Mark, who says, looking forward to seeing the blindfolded turbo tunnel, mainly because last time I misunderstood and put on a blindfold while it was being done. Oh, no, can't wait to see what the total will be by the end of the run. I also hope one of the commentators for the upcoming Lama Lana run is an authority on that game. And one more here, $25 from Spring Rowan, who says, this is a totally great week, and I'm excited for all of the great runs. Good luck to the runners, and thanks to MSF for being the heroes we need in the world. TMR, best of luck on the Turbo Tunnel. I'm rooting for you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sky. Definitely, it's very scary. Right now, I'm having a rough time getting my, my, my set of one-ups. We need more farming in chat. 
No, I saw I that one move. bird actually uh, mess up your juggle yeah. by hitting the bird out of your out of the way of your sword. It is, it is, totally. <laughs> I, yeah, I've never seen a bird do that in the middle of my juggle before. I was so a quick, dis quick disclaimer for everybody: this is this is an attempt at the blindfold. So, if in fact we happen to see a game over. Uh, I'll make sure that, well, I'll make sure that TMR knows that uh, he's getting low on lives and we probably will stop bef uh, stop trying the blindfold before the game over in case that happens. Hopefully that doesn't have to happen though, but uh, we'll try our best. <laughs> I've never juggled a bird like that, <laughs> but whatever is <laughs> left for right, a life. Left, right. <laughs> Usually okay. the most efficient way to farm a bird is to farm it on the same side, because as you can see, he doesn't have to move very much. But if they, if it winds up getting out of the way and he has to go left, right, left, right, left, right, he has to move the toad in accordance to each new position. Okay, that is the Wookiee hole complete. We are now in the turbo tunnel. It starts not on the bikes, but in a rat section. Uh, these, uh, these platforms are made up of small islands that the rats live on and once again like stage one you have to dispatch of them in order to progress so a few more rats here two small islands with uh, two more rats on them and we will see the turbo tunnel and we will see tmr attempt the uh the blindfolded the blindfolded section uh, yeah this best is gonna of luck be to crazy. you tmr Thank you so, so much. I'm I just will also put the... probably go silent for most of this because uh, I know that he needs audio cues in order to do this. This is where, if this was a live event, we would tell the audience, mm, refrain from noises if you can. But luckily you're just in shock. So here we go.
Oh, sweaty. Oh, get high! <laughs> nice job, TMR! I still have Woo! life going right. Oh, man! Yeah, I was uh, beginning to wonder if you were to think, like, is JC gonna tell me when my lives are going down? But no, they weren't yeah, going down. Just, still five. Just have way too many. <laughs> I know. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but wow. Great job, man. Great job. Great job. Oh, okay. <laughs> you made it. Congrats, friend. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. <laughs> me too. <That> was... <laughs> He got to he got to the second last wall, I believe, twice, and to the last wall once. Yeah, that one hurt me a lot. Yeah, you could hear it, number twenty. <laughs> it hurt me yeah. too. I, uh, I had to tell myself. Uh. Anyways, okay, welcome to the Arctic Cavern, stage four. So now this is uh, well, uh, in most categories, this is where we would consider the speed run to have begun. Uh, in this case, I guess it's, it's true for that as well. Uh, since the blindfolded section is done, the auto scroll section is done, and uh, now we're going on to a stage with a lot of movement. And uh, so there's some stipulations. There's some skips you can do in this uh, stage. Like right there, he could have gone through the floor. But uh, this is the 100% category, which means we are not going to skip any... Uh, it's kind of hard to define. We, <laughs> we're not going to skip any locations, any intended uh, uh, paths that... Uh, I guess most people in their casual playthrough would uh, would normally take. But he is going to do it very, very, very fast. As you can see, this starts to become a very movement-oriented game. Uh, he's not just using running and jumping. He's also using headbutts to move. And uh, in this case, he has to wait for 10 snowballs to break this wall. Uh, but yeah, uh, just like that, this uh, stage is almost done. There's a skip over here where if he were to spawn this mini checkpoint over here, you can see that wall explode down there. He could actually go down there and finish the stage. But in 100%, we like to take the full path. And of course, a swag death to finish it off. Yep. <laughs> Very well done. And welcome to the Surf yeah. City. This is another auto scroller where you control a surfboard. It's a lot like the Turbo Tunnel. Uh, but uh, you're on a surfboard. You cannot jump on the surfboard. You only get this uh, constant bouncing pattern here. And you have to maneuver uh, through logs, whirlpools, and eventually mines. And eventually he's going to take on a boss. Is this a good time for donations or should we? Yeah, well, I mean, maybe we should explain the, the big black before the The donations. big black fight, yes. <laughs> So there the will be a fight. mini boss in the center of the stage. Yeah, so this is, I believe, is this is the only stage. Yeah, this is the only stage where the uh, boss does not appear at the end of the stage, but in the middle of the stage instead. So Very first, he's going to take one. on some walkers and some space invaders. And uh, once this last guy is done, we will see the boss the of this lag. stage, Big Lag. So this is the big rat that is quite big in the Double Dragon version, but in this one, it's just big enough. So the he's strategy he's is to try to... arcade version. Yeah, as well. And so he, even, he even blows up and gets bigger. The strategy was like to that. kill it there in the upper part of the screen so he doesn't like go all the way down to disappear. Oh my god, this mines. these mines are randoms, by the way. So, yeah, uh, these mines are yeah, completely a... random. They can completely wall you in a way that uh, actually you can't avoid. I've had it happen. I've got like highlights on my page of me experiencing some <laughs> walls of mines that were undodgeable before. Yeah, uh, so, is now a good time for so a donation? Yeah, I think so. It's a good time for donation. Let's go. All right, sounds good, y'all. We have $25 from Delighted Pigeon, who says, first time donation, just had to root for the Mexican runner for his incredible blindfolded run. $50 from Ellipsis, who says, I've got my TMR signed copy of Battletoads right here with me. It's great to see this brutally hard NES game back at SGDQ. Good luck, TMR. To G donation. 
to G donates $50 saying the Mexican runner is amazing and I love when he does runs on GDQ. Is there anything he isn't great at? He managed to battle his way into my heart in the speediest way possible. One more here, $15 from JV Henry who says, excited to see TMR run Turbo Tunnel blindfolded. It's going to be riveting entertainment and I hope he doesn't decrow while running it. But if he does it, he can look into the camera and say, I told you so. Since TMR had to suffer through these totally bad puns, let him put this towards whatever he wants. Thank you so much. Yeah, I will put it to the bonus game. Uh, Leaves number three, right? Uh, yeah. Do we have time for one more? Just one more. Yeah. A lot more. This level is basically just snakes showing up, showing up, showing up, <laughs> and showing up. Yeah, so you go on. <laughs> Great. We have a $10,000 donation wow. from the Sasquatch Woo! who sells pants. Oh my goodness, that says, woo, good job, TMR. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I'm, I'm honestly very happy for the donation. I'm extremely happy as well that I was able to pull it off. I was having such a hard time. <laughs> Oh, I know you couldn't see chat, TMR. Everyone was rooting for you. Like, chat was not stopping scrolling. You had so much love during all of that. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, yeah, I great guess job again. everybody channeling the energy definitely help out. Thank you. Thank you so much. I should mention, um, so the reason that final checkpoint is so difficult in the blindfolded part of Turbo Tunnel uh, is because... There is an audio cue for just about everything except for one of the most important things, which is knowing exactly where your bike is on the Z-plane. So you press up and down to go on the Z-plane, kind of like Double Dragon. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah there's, there's, like, there's no sliding motion. There's no audio to know where exactly you are. So he pretty much just had to not necessarily guess, but uh, what my strategy always was, and I believe he applies the same strategy we start on the bottom because the first wall is going to be on top and then uh, once you hear the wall the wall has an audio uh to it when it whooshes by you and uh we try to use the whooshing sound with like a relative head timing for each and every up and down input and it doesn't just, always work as as you as you saw there but once it does oh it's beautiful just a little thing for for everyone watching. JC, the commentator, uh, he's another person who has beaten blindfolded uh, the Turbo Tunnel, uh, which is insane. And also, we did something amazing last GDQ. Uh, it, it was in the practice room where also some magic happened. No, it was not last GDQ. It was two GDQs ago, right? Yeah, AGDQ 2019. Yeah, we beat both uh, the Turbo Tunnel blindfolded co-op which is really, yep. really, really, really <laughs> insane. You can watch it in, in his channel or in my channel. It's just, it's just crazy. And probably you, you need two crazy people to do something like that. And <laughs> definitely JC is crazy enough. And I'm crazy yep. enough. Two, I, I will reach my space bar to split. <laughs> Can I just yeah. say right. one more thing? I forgot to sure. say real quick. That $10,000 donation, by the way, the Sasquatch who sells pants, I should have put it together. It was from the Yeti. Absolutely the love Yeti. your shirts. And thank you all so much from the Yeti for doing that. I love the name, by the way. So thank you all again. Ah, thanks so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, I still, I'm still waiting for my shirt. Sadly, like, well, I'm kidding. In the other side of the world, I currently live in Poland, so I couldn't get my... My SGDQ shirt on time, but I'm wearing the. Oh! All right, I let them kill each other. <laughs> nice, right the good guy, the good guy rat. Yeah, getting, getting his paw, right? Yeah, so enemies can actually, they, they can have their attacks redirected toward each other sometimes. So uh, that rat actually went for a little headbutt on the rash sprite, but instead hit his buddy, and uh, that. <laughs> that knocked him out in one hit, which is pretty nice. All right. So welcome to Volkmeyer's Inferno. This is another one of those stages where you enter a vehicle, and this vehicle is completely different from the last one. Once again, you might be noticing a theme here. Every single stage is unique in some way, which is, honestly, if you can get past Turbo Tunnel, you start to see the charm open up with this game. Yeah, uh, it's, it's really difficult. In the form of all kinds of unique to... aspects. 
it's really difficult to don't fall in love with this game. Um, so this is like the Turbo Tunnel Part 2 because it's very difficult. Like these uh, fireballs that I'm dodging, it's not a set pattern and just have to react to them. And yes, yeah, sometimes I just I just scream out of nowhere when a fireball is coming at me because it will clearly slow them down. Right? So there is that one up that I usually try to go for. It just it's swag points, so nothing else than that. But it just feels good yeah. getting that one off. Also, this those uh, fireballs. Oh, sorry, huh? I was gonna say those fireballs are all one-hit kills, and so are these missiles. So he has to make sure he avoids every each and every single one of them, or he goes back a checkpoint. It's not a huge time loss, but we certainly don't want time losses in our speedrun. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so apparently the Yeti has a rival, the Sasquatch who wears pants. Again, double check this. Apparently that was somebody different, so thank you very much to the Sasquatch here. And again, the Yeti, do you have a rival of some kind? I'm very confused. But anyways, thank you so much for that generous donation, y'all. Yeah, that's crazy. So what is the grand total, Sky? At the moment. Yep. So yeah, I kind of make that section look very trivial, but uh, the truth is that GC and me, we had like a lot of experience with this game. And we make it look way easier than it is. It, this game is it's known as one of the most difficult games on the NES. Uh, well, I would call it yeah. difficult good games, because it's a uh, This is one of the most difficult speedruns I've ever done, actually. Uh, it's it's surprising that you know usually with uh, with tough games that you memorize it gets easier, but uh, in this game's case it only got harder and harder and harder the more tech I learned. Uh, there is a yeah, that, <laughs> we haven't even mentioned the dash jump, have we? That's like the most uh, no, we haven't. one of the most valuable pieces of tech. You just got one right there. It's hard to notice uh, when just watching. It just looks like he's going really 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 fast to the untrained eye, but actually he is over and over doing a frame perfect. Uh, uh, input on his uh, controller where he sprints and he jumps on the exact same frame. So it's kind of like a, a toward input followed by a toward plus jump input on the same frame in order to trick the game into sprinting and jumping at the same time, which you normally can't do. Uh, but from there, if you can put the game in that state, you can even like headbutt and do all kinds of crazy tricks in the air. And just like that, wow, I didn't even get a chance to explain this <laughs> this state because he just blew through it so fast. Yeah, we're on the crazy. we're on the boss of Intruder Excluder already. This stage, uh, yeah, I've, man, I've watched blind playthroughs. I remember my blind playthrough. This stage took me days, I believe, on my first playthrough to even see past that final checkpoint. Uh, but uh, yeah, once it's done correctly, it's it's done very, 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 very quickly. And uh, that was a nice juggle on that boss, which is also a lot harder than it looks. Uh, this is the Terra Tubes. Uh, I guess this is the, the, the aqueduct of the gargantuan ship. I guess that's the lore of it. I don't actually know for sure, but... Uh... Uh, so there's normally a, a out of bounds skip that we go for in the any percent run, but uh, in the hundred percent run, we like to we like to take the intended path uh, that the devs wanted us to take. So, oh, we got the half spawn. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's really funny. That's that's a thing caused by uh, some kind of sprite overload. Uh, we theorized maybe earlier that it, that it, uh, the sound might have something to do with it, but I'm not too, I'm not 100% sure about anything. But uh, it's really funny. Movement. It doesn't have a hitbox. It also doesn't move. And uh, as you can see, the gears need to get to a certain area in order for these walls to be removed. And uh, in order to, yeah, in order to progress, the walls need to be removed. So uh, if it doesn't move, then you have to respawn it. And uh, we do so by just dying on those spikes to the left. I do have special fond memories continue. with this game. In fact, the card I'm playing is a card that I borrow and never give back. Shout out to my friend for his good heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Oh, we reached a top score. Oh, and we reached Whoop. also an evil you. That is just right there. You remember right. not to do the spice skip. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, because it's a hundred percent, so we don't go that. Uh, it's possible to get across some spikes that uh, you might be seeing a little bit later, uh, but uh, that one 
the first one was big enough that we consider that that's not like the intended route or the 100% route. So funny thing, the category started because, uh, well, once the glitch was discovered of the Turbo Tunnel um, and many other tricks, like people were complaining on YouTube, like, oh, you didn't beat the game the legit way. Mm -hmm. My favorite like, comment like... that I got on one of my videos was, uh, was uh, he doesn't even know how to beat the Turbo Tunnel. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> that was my that's favorite. Crazy. Yeah, the crazy thing is that you need a lot of skill to get the glitch, and it's just crazy hard. You cannot pretty much get it by accident. There's, there's no way anyone will get it by accident. Yeah. What do we call it in Cuphead? We call it the hater percent. I was thinking of calling it that in this game as well. Well, I think... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it was the same. Yeah, it's, it's the same reason. We call it 100%, so... Same reason, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, just a little more descriptive. Reason. All right, now we need that fish to stay down there. So this also checkpoint. like, oh, Sorry, go I'm gonna make it. Oh, I made it. Oof. What the hell? All right, you also stay down. <laughs> Let's. No animal was harmed. Oh man, except for oh, a toad. The tricky dash. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes that happens oh. when uh, Rash gets too much momentum. Otherwise, you're able to just uh, walk straight off that platform in between two spikes and be able to fall to victory. Will you try it again or? Yeah, yeah, you'll try it again for sure. Yeah, yeah, of course. So we're going for a spinner skip there. You might have noticed he did one kind of at the start of this checkpoint. Uh, this is one of the toughest checkpoints in the in the speed run, at least in my experience. Um, yeah, one thing to mention, whenever the shark bites like that, Ooh. It can kill you, and also uh, during the, his his bite animation, there's a six frames uh, lag. That any input I do, like if I swim off, it's not gonna swim off because it's like a dead input. So that makes it very strange. Uh, not the part that I die sadly. I like I got a kind of strange pattern. But uh, like later on when we're dodging uh, like spikes uh, left and right. If the shark bites, it's very difficult to adjust, or there, as well. I had yeah. to react to that bite, and, well... Oh, all right, a blind fight, uh, shark. All right. Ah, well done. There we go. So that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> that would be the faster way to do it without grabbing the spinner. You can do a free fall straight to the bottom, and uh, there are spikes down there, so you're forced to die on the spikes. But if you can get your your sprite to the right enough, which is also a tough thing to do because there's a wall there, which can also <laughs> block your momentum and make it impossible. But uh, if you're able to bounce uh, the dead corpse of Rash all the way over to the checkpoint marker, or I guess the end stage marker in this case, then uh, it will finish the stage. So welcome to the rat race. You are racing a rat to a bomb. And if the rat reaches the, wow, nice yeah. platform skip. That is frame perfect. Yep. That there's might be subframe, frame, actually. I don't have a clue, but yeah, there's a frame perfect trick here that if you punch at the same time the rat is going down or hitting his head on the platform, then you can get a platform skip. So it's possible to do the first rat in the second and even in the third one to fall faster. So we'll see if I True, get it here. Yeah. No, I didn't. Not oh. quite. Yeah, not quite. Oh, I'm going to wait one more. So yeah, you safe. wind up falling uh, equal, equal horizontal, uh, well, see, equal vertical uh, platform to the first gas jet, uh, which you have to wait for anyway. So it is a so, it is a worthwhile skip, but uh, probably not as worthwhile as the first one since you can free fall entirely. Stage, yeah, this Sorry. is a stage that people usually don't see uh, because in the any percent and, and with the worthless category, we're able to finish the level by doing a glitch on the rat, which. The game thinks like uh, it's the boss, but um, yeah, it's just like an early exit of the level. Uh, but in this category, you get to play the whole rat race, which is this one. And this third rat is the most difficult one for uh, everyone, pretty much. Uh, oh, I got like the skip. Oh, there we go. It, Two it doesn't frame save time. Punches. Well, it saves like half second, probably. Yeah. All right. The last this one is the, isn't ge as the general slaughter. This guy is gonna look just like that, but like he can squeeze me immediately if I don't get him properly. Hopefully, yeah. I will get him. 
Ooh, okay. Okay. Take that, mister! Nice. I believe that would be your gold split. What do you it think? It will be my gold split. Yeah, yeah that would be I, a gold no, split. No, no, that no. was probably one of the best stage 10s I've ever seen in 100%. Yeah, definitely. Welcome to Klinger Winger. And yeah, the, the, the uniqueness does not stop there. Look at this. It's like, what game am I even playing now? Uh, yeah, we're yeah. still in, we're still playing Battletoads, and this is another stage with another unique aspect uh, I'm that you have to. I'm gonna try to show my controller because people often ask me, "What do you do there?" Well, I have to press the direction the toad is going. If right. you stop pressing the direction, the the toad will not notoriously slow down, and if that will or Sonic, as some people call it, uh, reach you. Insta dead, and you have to start from the very beginning of this stage. So if you have a faulty controller, this is the real test for it, and for your right. thumbs too. <laughs> but right. I guess so, we yeah, have this... time for for donations. Yeah, we could read Absolutely, off one. I do. Great job so far, TMR. This is so great, and there's so many donations that reflect this. So we have sixty-four dollars from. Uh, Unitendo, who says, man, that turbo tunnel felt like King Dice and the devil were throwing everything at you, but nothing can beat TMR. Congratulations, and as always, thank you for running for a great cause. Thank you. SETC Astronomy donates $250 saying incredible blindfolded run, TMR. You are incredible. We have Little Baby Gator donating $50, saying amazing Battletoads run. Great work to everyone making this event happen. Good luck to the remaining runners this week. Henry donates $50, saying have to donate in honor of TMR doing the blindfolded turbo tunnel run. And $50 from Dude Master, who says props to TMR for that incredible blindfolded run of turbo tunnel and Battletoads. I definitely couldn't do that without a blindfold, and the sheer level of skill and determination he showed in completing it was absolutely stunning. Best of luck, TMR, in the last stretch. Thank you. Uh -huh. Welcome to the final stage. Well, I'll mention the first, yeah, it wasn't just uh, a chase with the orb that was chasing you in the final stage. You also fight him as, uh, as a final boss. And uh, he has a lot of RNG, but TMR actually was able to bypass all of that RNG with a pretty tough trick to stun lock him in the corner. And uh, well done, actually, because that is very, very, very difficult to do. Um, and here we are in the revolution. This is the longest stage in the game. Uh, even though there is no auto scroller aspect to this, uh, it still winds up being as long as any auto scroller stage. It's a very long stage uh, with a whole lot of platforms and a whole lot of crazy tricks. That was a great way to kill that red rhino. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Cool to see so, see, like, there's like a lot of different strats people come up with. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. it's, yeah it's, it's, it's just dense strat after dense strat here, and uh, I could never, I could never do enough justice on commentator to uh, be able to explain all of them all at the same time. But uh, uh, yeah, for the most part, we have, uh, we have, well, man, we have analyzed and optimized this uh, stage to the core, and uh, what we've noticed is that. Uh, probably the skill ceiling to this optimization is these green platforms right here. These green platforms work on a global timer starting from the beginning of the stage. So those green platforms are all the way from the very bottom of this tower are already doing their disappearing, reappearing act. And uh, the whole idea to uh, get the stage as fast as possible is to reach the best cycles for them. And I believe it's in increments of between two to four seconds, depending. These green clouds are some of the most random enemies in the game. Actually, they, believe it or not, they can end runs. Uh, you, when they stay in one spot, they're nice, but uh, one of those clouds you rely on to move. It was the one that uh, TMR uh, jumped on a platform to kill up and down. Uh, but luckily he got good RNG on that, so that wound up being fast. And uh, I want to say this stage 12, <laughs> I'm gonna stay quiet for a second. TMR, was that a gold stage 12 no, as well? No, 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 it was not, it was not. Uh, okay. It was not, but it was a really good one. <laughs> that was really good. It might I have been that one cycle off of optimal. Well, we're out the final boss. So just like that. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, ooh, TMR yeah, <laughs> yeah, invested I, I, all the I, tough I, stages. I, and, uh, I, 
I even got the troll cloud on the not the troll cloud, the troll first rhino on the at the beginning. Oh yeah, that one. And yeah, I still made the cycle. the cycle. Alright, so time is gonna come after I will say time and when it will be. <laughs> Oh, that was the Dark Queen, so I was performing a trick to, to keep her on the ground by hitting her a little bit late, so that way, like, she was attacking me and she was staying on the ground, so get ready on... Time! Time. Alright, it doesn't matter, we got the blindfold turbo too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just wanted to make the estimate at this point. Ooh, yeah, I, I don't know if I made it, but man, I just have to make the turbo I'm sure you got thing. the estimate, that definitely felt like... I'm gonna guess 31. 35, ah, 43, okay. just, just 17 just, seconds. Just All right. Yeah, that was, that was Balto's like 100%. This is the, I believe the first time it has been shown this way, the game. I remember there was a PG race uh, versus MTI that probably they, they kind of play 100%, but, but they didn't know they were doing 100%. <laughs> it didn't exist in the category back then, so, yeah. I think he did an over-the-wall skit back in the day. Oh, okay. I see. I see, but yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, JC. Thank you so much, Sky. Thank you, all the people, for the generosity. It has been incredible. Like, for me, this game means a lot. I beat this game when I was a kid, like, nine years old. That, that was my biggest uh, gaming achievement of all time. Uh, I did beat all the NES games as the only person who has done that as well uh, at the moment, uh, but uh, was still beating Baltos as a nine-year-old, like no one can take that away from me and it was just an incredible feeling and every single time I play this game, I love this game, I love this game, but the speedrun physically hurts your tongue, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> sadly, sadly, it's just an incredible, amazing game that I love. Pain is yeah, pleasure, thank TMR. Thank you, JC, for, for being here all these years um, and many more to come. <laughs> uh, thank you for having me, man. Everybody thank follow you. TMR. He's a legend. JC is also a legend. Thank you. No. <laughs> I'll keep enjoying the marathon. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy, everybody. Thank you. All right, can we hear it one more time for TMR just doing that amazing Battletoads run with the Turbo Tunnel Blindfold and, of course, JC583 on commentary. Thank you both so much for that awesome run. We have a lot of donations here just praising TMR for that awesome performance. So let's get to them. We have a $500 donation from Kasai who says that blindfolded section was totally awesome. I couldn't do that even if without a blindfold. Had to get a donation in before the run ends. Just because TMR is that great. Donation goes towards runner's choice, Cowabunga. Beautiful James donates $250 saying, held my breath during that blindfolded battle toad section. Congrats to the runners for raising so much year after year. Easy donates $50 saying TMR is a hero. That blindfolded turbo tunnel was intense. And with that being said, we're going to take a quick break, folks. We'll be right back.
All right, welcome back to Summer Games from Quick 2021 online powered by Twitch. We have a $25 donation from Silent Persona who says, Battle Toads, I'm a fan of Fight Frogs myself. All the luck to what's going to be an amazing run, the Mexican Runner. And with that, you all, here it is. We are going to be doing a Super Meat Boy Forever promo. Take it away. All right, so for this next one, again, given everything that happened during the last segment, I promise this one is from the right source here. This is from the actual Yeti, $10,000, who says, hey all, Yeti here. Now listen, I'm not here to cause any beef with fellow cryptids. I'm pretty sure the Pants Squatch is my second cousin twice removed. Oh my gosh, this lore. I can agree with their sentiment though. TMI is amazing at running battle toads. What a hype run. Oh my gosh, Yeti, thank you so, so, so much for that. And again, apologies for any confusion. Oh my goodness, that Yeti lore was absolutely amazing. Again, thank you so much to the Yeti for that very generous donation. I appreciate all y'all. We have a $500 donation from Anonymous who says, that was an amazing blindfolded segment with the Turbo Tunnel. Keep it up, TMR. That was absolutely impressive. Ratman donates $10 saying the difficulty of Turbo Tunnel prevented countless kids like me from ever seeing the later levels of Battletoads. Shoutouts to my favorite streamer, TMR, for avenging our countless deaths. Party Parrot donates $50 saying watching TMR crush the Battletoad speed cycle section that broke me as a kid. Blindfolded was incredible. I normally donate later in the week and will still, but I had to show support for this year. Congratulations, TMR. You are amazing. Thank you all so much again. Just all of this love for my good friend TMR. It's so appreciated and so deserved after that blindfolded turbo tunnel run. Texas Supernova donates $10 saying working from home, but to stop what I was doing to watch that blindfolded turbo tunnel run. GG TMR. $15 from Unstoically Death. TMR blindfolded toads? Seriously? Yeah, seriously, that was the thing that happened. If you did not watch that, please go back at some point after the marathon's over and watch that. Definitely a highlight for sure. Shiverus donates $100 saying for that amazing blindfolded turbo tunnel. And Fast B donates $100 saying, yo, here's another donation for getting to see that blindfolded speeder bike section. Unreal stuff. Keep kicking butt, TMR.
Odd Lazo donates $25 saying that blindfolded tunnel was one of the most impressive things I've ever seen on GDQ. This donation is in TMR's name. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me for today. I will be back for Super Mario Brothers 3 on Saturday. That would be Mitch Flower Power and the Hacks. Or, so I will see you all then. Coming up next is an interview for Dishonored from Kizaron and Lurvin. Kizaron, take it away. What's up, SGDQ 2021 online? I'm Keezer, and I'm joined by my puppy because she didn't want to be left alone, I suppose. And I'm here with Lervin. Lervin, how are you doing this evening since you're in Norway? I'm very, very well. I'm really excited. Really fun to be here. Now, it's, it's pretty exciting to... Uh, we've talked about this before on the pre-show, and I'm sure some of my fellow interviewers have brought this up, but we have a lot of international representation because of the nature of the online event. So I just got to ask, since you're all the way in Norway... Would it have been possible to see you do this run at an in-person event, or is this kind of like showing the benefit of some of the online events? I oh, know I definitely wouldn't be able to go. Um, like it's just too far away. It's it's not conceivable to take like a that long of a trip to be at an event for a week. It's not something yeah. I can do. So I'm really happy to be here. Now. You are doing Dishonored, specifically the Any Percent category, but uh, yep. I've looked I've looked at your uh, your speedrunning pedigree, and it's mostly like first person games. Like, do you just have a preference for that, or just find it easier to pick up games like that for speedrunning? I, I just really like I really like the first person perspective. It really allows you to do a lot of very quick changes to movement. It allows you to be really smooth in ways that I never really found in two D games, for example. Uh, yeah. Three third person also just it, it's not personal enough. Higher field of view, higher speed, just go, go, go. Now, we're actually going to go ahead and throw it over to some social media questions. So shout out to Twitter for basically making about half this interview. Thanks, you all. Uh, we're actually going to start with uh, at Tivantane. I hope I said that right. And the question is, what was the most difficult trick or technique to learn for this speed run? Hmm. Yeah, for any percent, we have quite a few. Like last year-ish, we found uh, that you can use... Uh, FPS binds to like lower and heighten your FPS in a very useful way, certain parts of the run. And mm -hmm. uh, one of the run, uh, tricks we do is just you have to do a teleport ability and then wait almost exactly a second, but not entirely one second, and then press the interact key. And just learning that timing down to the one specific frame where you have to press it, even when lowering your frame rate to do it, uh, was very hard to pick up. In general, also like just clipping through walls is pretty easy to learn, but getting a hang of it to where you're comfortable with it and able to do it consistently, really, really difficult. Now, sticking with the social media for a little bit longer, we got at Radio Ashgard asking, what's your favorite power from any of the Dishonored games, including the DLC? Mm. Well, as I mentioned, I really like fast-paced movement in my first-person mm -hmm. games. So the short-range teleport abilities uh, have always been my favorites. Uh, I really probably like Dowd's version of Blank the most because uh, it's basically instant. You're just where you wanted to uh, teleport. I also really like um, the bend time mechanic, which just allows you to slow the entire game down to a crawl, just throw th grenades over here, shoot bullets over there, and just suddenly everything um, <laughs> happens at the same time, which is really, really fun to mess around with. And then we also have at Space Captain Zemo, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this one out. It's a very long one, but the world of Dishonored is very intricate. The backdrop of the plague alongside the wrongful accusation of regicide paints a beautiful picture to play within. If they made a Dishonored, but in the future, what would you want to see carried over from the current series? Oh, in terms of, like, story and everything like that, well, I do, just keep doing what they're doing, really. They're setting up really interesting questions about power and chaos and how much can really one person do in the world. Like, I'm re before I became a speedrunner, I don't know if we can see it here, but I have the Mark of the Outsider tattooed on my arm. Yeah, like, hey. I got really into the story, and it, it has a really cool way of playing with the interactivity of, um, like, being the person who is actually doing the story. And mm -hmm. it also, um, with the way, like, 
it could definitely transition from like a steampunk into a cyberpunk kind of thing. Uh, which I think we'll be actually seeing with like Arcane Studios' new game that's coming like this fall, Deathloop, which seems to basically be just Dishonored but with guns this time. So yeah. that's uh, going to be really interesting to see what they do story wise in that. And then one last question before uh, we end this interview. This is a. Uh... This is probably the most confusing thing I've seen. Not the question itself, but this is from at X Cherry Cupcake, whose screen name right now is actually Lemon. So I don't know if you're actually a cherry or a lemon. But uh, what is your favorite sandwich? Uh, my favorite sandwich? Uh, probably I'm really into spicy food. Just like anything with a bunch of cheese and jalapenos on it, then just toast it. Like I'm much more of a toast than a sandwich kind of guy. So just sure. get me something spicy and heated and I'm, I'm with it. Well, thank you, Lervin, so much for taking the time out of your night to talk to me. Uh, once again, everyone, Lervin will be running Dishonored in... I, I lost track of the schedule, so yeah. Yeah, it's soon, soon, very soon, a couple of games from now. But uh, oh, yeah. I've been Keezer on. Uh, maybe you can still see the puppy. She's been on my lap the whole time. But we're actually going to go ahead and throw it over to Scent because you know Scent. He loves his prizes, and he wants to share those with all of you. See you all later. Bye. <laughs> Bring back the puppy. It was a, I like the puppy. <laughs> it was a good puppy. Thank you so much, Keys. As mentioned, I am sent, and joining me as always is the absolutely wonderful Mr. Game and Chat. Thank you very much. And together, the two of us here are going to tell you about some of the amazing prizes that you can win by donating between now and the end of the GTA 3 bonus run coming up yes. a little later in the schedule. Now, we're about, I think, halfway towards getting that I run think in the we're marathon. We're a little over half. Uh, what is that? 90,000 to get that met. Yeah, I think we need about 45 more. It's a couple of runs away, a few hours ahead. Head, but I know that's going to happen. And let's talk about some of the amazing prizes that you could win by donating them. Now, Shout, yesterday yes. we talked a little bit about the basics of prize presenting. We did. But today I really need to go over all of the you know potential snafus that you can have when you're showing off prizes, just to make sure that they never occur to you. Uh, I've, I've never had a prize snafu. I, I, I believe never you happened. 100%. Did not happen this morning. Right, so first off, uh, like with this beautiful rash plush from Fangamer, you know, it hangs on to things. It's got this beautiful bike clip. Uh, it's only a $5 minimum donation. Thanks so much to Fangamer and Rare for sending it out. Uh, the important thing here, and, and you can tell me if you can spot what's wrong with this. I would say it's upside down. That would be... No, no that, that, that has nothing to do with it. You see, the problem is the logo is covering Rash's face. You want to make sure you move that out of the way so people can see how beautiful Rash is. There you go. It's so obvious in retrospect. Yeah, that, that's all you got to yep. do, Shout. It's mm -hmm. that simple. $5 minimum donation for that Battletoads Rash Cling Plush. Thank you so much to Fangamer and Rare for sending it out to us. Now, from Puzzle P, we have this beautiful Toad Tread On Me painting. Like, look at the shout. This is great. You it's know, a, and no. it's it's her, it, the way that she always does with her art style, there's always something hidden in the white space. So in this case, uh, the glitter is filling things wonderfully. There's actually a lot of subtle shading in there. It, it looks a little, like a lot flatter white on the camera than it is. Um, but it's actually really well done. There's very nice detail in that. And I've always loved... Puzzle piece art. It's great. It's it's absolutely beautiful. It's really cool to see art of like lesser known characters from these games. Too. Right. You know, we got we got Big Mauser from Battletoads, or or if you're a fan of uh, Biker Mice from Mars, this could be Biker Mice from Mars fan art. Frankly, it's it's kind of the same thing, but it's all good. I'm, I'm gonna have to take your word on that. <laughs> great series. Terrible cartoon. Great series. <laughs> $10 minimum donation. Thank you so much to Puzzle P for sending it out to us. It's absolutely beautiful. The, the faux pas here, by the way, shout was yeah. never get glitter on yourself. It never goes away. Well, that it, I know. It, it absolutely. You, you, you have children. You yes. know that. But my home is contaminated forever. It will never be the same. Now, yes. From Doikum, we have a set of absolutely beautiful La Mulana parlors here. Uh, now, of course, we have La Meza, the protagonist of La Mulana. Everyone loves La Meza, sliding into action right there. And, of course, if you have La Meza, you have to have Mulbrook, because how else are you going to figure out any of the cryptic stuff in La Mulana without Mulbrook's even more cryptic, useless hints? I don't personally know. I looked at a walkthrough. Yeah, I, I was going to say a wiki. Yeah, that, that's, wiki sounds good. Th th it helps a lot, frankly. It yeah. helps a lot. Uh, but in addition to La Meza and Mulbrook, you, of course, get the very important characters, fish. Fish. It is uh, a fish. What, what else can I say about fish and fish's importance to the story of La Mulana except it, it's, it's a fish? It's a cool fish, though. Shout out to the fish. And my genuine favorite character from La Mulana, Catball. <laughs> It is a cat standing on a ball. If you destroy the ball, the cat will get angry, and it will run at you, and it will try and hurt you. Yes. If you destroy the cat, the, the ball really doesn't do it. It's just a ball. Like, it, 
you know, it continues existing. That, that tracks. Now, you see, the problem I had here, Shout, yeah. was I was showing the wrong side of the perler. You always got to make sure to show the right side of the perler very clearly. How do, you, how do you know which side of the perler is the right side? Years of experience <laughs> and messing it up. <laughs> okay. That's how you know, Shout. You'll I'm going to be that. a natural at that part. $10 minimum donation. Thank you so much to Doikum for sending that out to me. Uh, now, Shout, yeah. here's probably the most important lesson. Okay. So when you open a box on stream, yes. you always have to make sure you open the right side of the box. It's very, very important because if you don't, bad things will happen. See, I'm going to open this box. Yeah. I'm going to pull out this absolutely adorable Yoshi oh Amikurumi God, so cute. from Kaloin. Like, look at this. This is so adorable. You get this full-bodied yellow Yoshi. It's got kind of opposable legs and little opposable arms. It's got the dino spines on the back of it. I love that. It's an adorable Yoshi piece, right? Yeah. And Amigurumi is just such a cool medium. You have to keep in mind, this is a single, like, knitted piece together. Oh, yeah. No. Somebody made that by hand. Some and, yeah, it's amazing. The, like, logistics of putting this together is just so beyond me. But it's it's super cool. And thank you so much for sending it out. It's a $15 minimum donation from now until the end of GTA 3. All right, Chow, why don't, why don't you try? Why don't you okay, open so, a box for right, us so, and, and see what right, happens? So we've got a box. I'm right. going to take the box. Right, wait, wait. And this doesn't look that difficult because we take the box. We find... Chow, right, uh, so hold on. Yeah, no, no, no. It's just a little bit of a complicated box. And you take, you take it and you open it up. Right. There's another flap. Hold on. I can get this. And then there's... It doesn't feel like... What the... What? Chow, I think yeah, you opened it. Yeah, you see... Nope, that's, nope. No. Yeah, that's I'm um, good. That, that, that's the problem. You see, Thank Shout, you, Court. Shout opened the box yeah. the wrong way. You never open the box the wrong way. Not with this happen. Mm -hmm. I'm just that's a warning for everyone out there. It's especially a warning for Not Shout. a good surprise. You got to be careful about that. Can't do that to me. Let's talk about something maybe a little more calming, Shout, because yeah. our friends over at GT Omega, mm -hmm. we have an absolutely amazing GT Omega Element Series chair. I think these normally retail for like $350. Yeah, I was just looking at that today. Yeah, but $25 minimum donation, you could have one. And we actually have several of those chairs to give out over the course of the marathon. We They're do. Super we've, got, cool. we've got this one, and then we've got another one coming up later this week. We, we certainly do. And I've, uh, I actually have a GT Omega chair. I've been sitting in one for about eight, nine years now. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I got got one a long time ago and it's it's you know held the test of time it's been a comfortable chair to sit in i've i've really enjoyed it so when they hit us up and we're like hey can we, can we give away some chairs at the event be like yeah no it, it, they're good stuff certainly love to give them away make sure to head over to gamesdonequick.com check out a great picture of that chair and get that 25 dollars donation in before the end of gta 3 so you can win it and if you get a $25 donation in before the end of GTA 3, you'll also be entered to win this absolutely beautiful tall neck art piece from Meredith Frederick. Uh, thank you so much, Meredith, for sending this out. Like, shout, I love this. I love the frame, right? I love the framing on it. The, the wire around the edge is a great accent to give it sort of that, uh, that fusion that you get from uh, Horizon, right? Where you have the modern and the sort of primitive right, right next to each right. other. Right, it, right. It's got that real rustic feel of like, yeah. this is wood lashed together with right. vines or whatever you could have. But the subject material is, is a of robot. Course, is, is a robot like giraffe monster. Yeah. Uh, it's super cool. It's made out of metal, by the way. Uh, this oh, is this it? Little, uh, oh, wait, no, sorry. It's made out of wood. I apologize. That's a nice painted wood piece right that's there. That's a really good coat, yeah. It is. It's a, it, it fooled me. I was like, hey, that, that's <laughs> reflecting kind of like metal. Wait a minute. Knock on wood. Nope, yep, that is wood. <laughs> okay. Can't it's, confirm. Identifying wood 101. Yes, no, we, we're, wood. this is a multifaceted uh, stream shout. We're learning <laughs> all kinds of things today. <laughs> $25 minimum donation. Thank you so much to Meredith for sending that out. I'm going to hand that over I to you for that. safekeeping. Thank shout. you. Because we have another awesome uh, Horizon Zero Dawn prize to talk about. It's we actually do. our big $50 day prize today. So if you donate $50 in a single donation between now and the end of Mischief Makers later tonight, you'll be entered to win a small neck. I'm now, I know what you're thinking. W what is a small neck? Well, it's kind of like a tall neck. Sorry. It's like a tall neck, but is small. You see? Right. It's small. It's absolutely adorable. It comes to us from Kaito Ace, and, like, the craftsmanship on this is just incredible, right? It is wonderfully put together. It is, it is so solid. It is so huggable and squeezable. And the head, which, you know, kind of looks like, oh, well, that's maybe not balanced. It's actually really well reinforced. It's yeah. just going to stay in place and stay in shape. Uh, we got the tail accents, too. All just super well made. This plush is amazing. 
$50 minimum donation from now until the end of Mischief Makers. Thank you so much, Kaito, for sending it out to I, us. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold on to yeah, that. No, I need, I, th- you know, I, I, we, I don't have Keys' puppy. We, yeah, I we, need we, we, saw, we saw the puppy earlier, and now I want to hug. Okay, I'm <laughs> hugging the Yoshi. Fine. Okay, good yeah, plan. There we go. I got good something plan. to hug to. Excellent. All right, and shall, we can't talk about prizes without talking about our grand prizes, right? This is true, and we have two of them again. We have two amazing grand prizes. Now, both of them are a $250 minimum donation, but that is cumulative throughout the marathon. So if you donate $50, you're gonna get entered into everything we just talked talked about and you're going to be one fifth of the way into getting entered into both of these great prizes it's true it all adds up so we get two grand prizes this event the first one that we have courtesy of our friends at heroic replicas is your choice of a custom heroic replicas product there is a full list available of your options on the website go to gamesdonequick.com there is a link for prizes in the top left corner one of these days i'm going to be able to do that direction without thinking yeah it's over there. Right above me. It's a, yes. Right on top of Sent's head yeah. should be the button. Just, just click Sent. Conveniently. I, that would pause the stream. I <laughs> oh, wouldn't do okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Don't do that, actually. Okay. Yes. Um, but you've got your choice of a variety of options, a bunch of things from the Legends of Zelda, uh, Master Sword, Hylian Shield, the Chris Sword is in there. The Megaton um, Hammer? The Megaton Hammer. The Megaton Hammer. Which may actually weigh one megaton. We haven't checked. We'll ask. Um... <laughs> Other video games, again, we've got the Buster Sword from Final Fantasy VII. Final, yeah. It's hard to say, but you know what I was going for. With materia included, these are live segments, I promise. Uh, we have the Diamond Sword from Minecraft now available. Uh, we've got a few things from TV. We've got the Sword of Omen from Thundercats. We've got He-Man Sword that I'm sure also has a name that yeah. I'm going to get schooled on. I'm pretty sure it's just the Sword of Power. The Sword of Power. I think, Look, I think so, because He-Man has the power. It's true. Yeah. You know, correct us in chat if we're wrong on this one. I'm sure they already are. I have (laughs) no doubt. Um, $250 cumulative donation throughout the week gets you in for that. And the other grand prize, I may no longer be qualified to talk about, so I'll let you... (laughs) Sure, thanks, Shout. So it's from our friends over at SkyTech Gaming. Huge shout-outs to SkyTech Gaming for sending it out to us. It is a SkyTech Gaming Mark 9 PC, and this thing is absolutely stacked. It's got a 5800X CPU. It's got a 3070 Ti graphics card. I'm still on, like, uh, an AMD 380 or something, basic. I'm I'm a few years out of date. This thing is, you know, top of the line, brand new. You got to get your hands on it. It's got a ton of amazing parts. You can head over to gamesdonequick.com to not only see a great picture of it, but to see the full list of parts and all of the specs this PC has. I think it retails, at, you know, somewhere a bit over $3,000. Oh, yeah. But it could be yours with a $250 cumulative donation throughout the event. It is so good shout i am so happy with all of the amazing prizes and there are even more prizes available right now than we talked about there, there are a ton are. of them you gotta go over to gamesdonequick.com if you're curious about that because you can check the tracker it's got all the information you could ever need it's going to show you information about all of the upcoming speed runs that we have in the event and there are so many good speed runs today check out horizon zero dawn shout's actually going to be house hosting for that one Look you don't want to miss it it's going to be an incredible run all of the great incentives that we have in the marathon incentives like that gta3 bonus game i think we're still about forty thousand dollars away from making that happen keep it coming it's gonna happen i believe in chat i believe in our ability to make it work and of course all of the absolutely amazing prizes that we have available awesome indeed well i think that's gonna do it for us shout thank you so much for being here as always Always a pleasure sir let's send it back up to the front gdq will be right back you don't want to go anywhere you don't want to miss any of the amazing speed runs coming up later today see ya Hello, everyone. My name is the Kyle Thomas. I am honored to be back and hosting for you for the next couple games. What a morning and day this has been so far. We have seen some amazing things, and I am just getting teary thinking about it. We learned that the Yeti has family. How amazing is that? I thought they were alone.